Hello everyone, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can add color swatches in the collection page of the Shopify store. So here on my screen, you can see that we have uh, all the color swatches on products which are displaying on collection pages. So you can add this feature on featured collection as well as main collection pages. So let me show you step by step that how you can do it into your store. So right now, the current situation is something like this. We have the products on the featured collection as well as main collection, but we don't have the color swatches i will be implementing step by step so let me show you how you can do that firstly you should go to the dashboard of the store here you can see that i have installed down theme if you have any of the free themes for example refresh themes sense theme spotlight craft crave uh, refresh so in all those uh, 13 free themes this code is applicable if you are facing any issue then you can directly contact me i will help you out in solving that if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. So let's get started. The first thing is that you should go to uh, the dashboard and here you need to click on these three dots. So you should duplicate this theme because uh, if you are duplicating it and if later on you have any problem or something, so you can roll it back to its original version. So keep a duplicate copy of this uh, original theme. Then after you should click on edit code and here we have some folders and files. I have already given a documentation. So let me follow that here you will be having uh, the these four files so we have the documentation the first thing is that you need to turn off show second image on hover so that means if you are going to the customize uh, firstly you should go back to the dashboard and here you have the option of customize so you should scroll down and here you can see featured collection scroll a little bit more down and here you can see show second image on hover so keep it disabled right now it is disabled and in the same way we have uh, collection pages for example i am going to shop all page so in that we have product grid and on the right hand side show second image on hover should be disabled then after you should go back again and let me close this and here you have to follow the second step which is create a new snippet and name of that snippet is card-variant-swatch-custom. So let me copy this and you should click on snippets, click on add a new snippet and paste that name here, click on done. Once you are done with this, then you should create another uh, snippet which is card-product-custom.liquid. So copy this and then after click on add a new snippet, paste that name here, click on done. Once you are creating these two files, then after we have to create another new file which is card-product-variant-selection-custom.js So this is basically in uh, you need to create this JS file inside the assets. So here we have snippets and down below we have the folder of assets. Click on it, click on add a new snippet, click on create a blank uh, file and here you should select JS and paste that name here, click on done. Once it is done, then you need to paste the code in all of these files. So here we have the first file which is card-product-custom. So you should copy this complete code and then after you should paste it right here. Then click on save. Go back and here we have card-product-variant-selection-custom. So this is actually the JS file which is this one. So paste that code here. Then after the third part is card-variant-swatch-custom again you should copy this complete code and go back and here we have that uh, file paste it and then click on save now we have the next step from the documentation which is go to man-collection-product-grid.liquid so let me open it up here you should search and here we have man-collection-product-grid and inside of it you need to find uh, grid the product dash grid so this is the class name which you need to search inside of it and here you can see that it is highlighted and above it we have data dash id equals to section id so just below this line you need to add one more attribute which is this one so this is a data attribute which we are going to add it just below this line and then after you should go back and replace card dash product uh, with card dash product dash custom so let me search card dash product first here you can see it is highlighted so you need to replace this with uh, this new card dash product dash custom so let me copy i mean you need to paste it here and then after go back and here we have this script which you need to copy 
and paste it at the bottom so in the same file you need to scroll down and here you need to paste it then click on save once the changes are saved then you should go back and we have other uh, parts so before this uh, there was this was the code related to main collection page so we are also interested to add on featured collection pages so for that you need to open featured dash collection dot liquid so let me search it here and here we have featured dash collection dot liquid and inside of it all those steps we need to repeat so what exactly we are going to do we need to find this uh, class name grid product dash grid so using control f or maybe command f here we have and uh, just above it you can see that data dash id so this is an attribute and just below this attribute we are going to uh, write this new attribute which is this one so let me see just press enter key and then paste it here and then after the next thing is you should copy this complete script uh, which is this one and paste it at the bottom of this file scroll it down and here we have that script and click on save once the changes are saved then we are going moving ahead to the last step which is actually on the search page also we are interested to uh, add this feature so man dash search you need to find this file here is the file man dash search dot liquid and inside of it again we need to repeat all those steps so you need to find grid product dash grid so these are the two classes which we are going to find here we have and then after we need to uh, uh, paste this attribute data attribute inside the ul tag so basically this is the ul tag so we are going to paste it right here and then after we have uh, to replace card dash product using control f highlight it and inside of it we are going to paste this uh, card dash product dot dash custom so let me paste it right here and then after finally we have this script which we are going to add at the bottom so scroll at the bottom and here we are going to paste it let me cross check in the featured collection i think we added color uh, uh, just a second uh, let me cross check one thing we had card dash product so let me see if that is replaced or not yeah yeah in the feature dash collection you should go back actually we missed one step so in the card dash product we need to replace with card dash product dash custom so copy and paste it right here okay so that's it uh, from this file we missed this uh, step and finally we are uh, we have the last step which is open settings underscore schema so here you need to search we have settings underscore schema and at the top we are going to paste these lines of code so make sure you should not miss any single line even the comma so copy this and then after paste it right here and click on save once the changes are saved then you should check all these things so let me refresh this page and here we go now you can see that we have uh, the color swatches but right here you can see that uh, we don't have this color uh, reflecting here can you see so why this is not reflecting because we need to add the hex code of this so let me show you how you can do that so you should go back to the dashboard and uh, here you need to click on customize and in the left hand side you can see we have settings we have collection color swatches and here we need to add all those uh, colors which we missed so how we can add that so for example this color is green so we need to uh, inspect and we need to take the color and then after just a second so this is the hash code you should copy and go back and just here in this line you can actually write green and here i have written 
okay so this is one color another is for example this color is blue so for the blue color maybe uh, we need to click on this product and one by one we can actually uh, right here so this is actually ice blue so we need to pick this color first this is the color so you should copy and again go back so you should write here ice blue and paste that hex code similarly we have the white one black is okay yeah that is everything is okay now so next thing is inside of this we had green red and white so i think all of them are reflecting uh, one more product was this one so here we were missing black um, uh, this is actually the new color m a u v e so let me copy this color also so this is the color and we are going to a u v e and paste that m a u v e so maybe uh, you should re uh, remove this uh, empty space please okay and then after the final is dusty blue so you need to check uh, also copy this so we have dusty blue here you need to write dusty blue and paste that hex code and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can go back and refresh so here we go now you can see that all the colors are displaying so one more we are missing which is about the hats so khaki so this is the color which we are missing so wait a minute yeah for example this one so we are going to copy this and we need to write that color name hex code khaki and this all right so now you can go back and here we are now you can see that we have all those colors displaying so all the images are also updating according to the color swatch so here we have all the other colors displaying when we are clicking on them one more thing is if we are going to the main collection page so here we have so you can also see that we can switch the colors uh, for example this one yeah and we have all the other colors so that's how you can implement it into your store so here we have two products in in both of them we don't have any uh, color variant so that's why the swatches are not displaying okay you can change the size of these swatches from here you can uh, make them a um, little bit smaller maybe let me yeah for example 34 so let me save you can also change the uh, style of those so let me refresh it and now you can see that this is little bit smaller so you can make them more smaller if you want so if you are facing any issue or something you can ask me i will help you out in solving that and if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel if you have any problem or something you can directly message me i have already given the contact details below in the description so in the previous video i have implemented images swatches uh, in, in place of uh, these color swatches i have implemented images swatches so you can uh, follow that video if you want images swatches one more video i published regarding uh, moving these images in the left side earlier we had in the bottom so now these are moved on the left side so if you need this kind of feature also you can also implement it so thank you so much for watching this video if you're new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok you can also join a whatsapp group which i have recently created so you can uh, ask me any question you want which you have related to shopify or any coding related issues so thank you so much once again see you in the next video